All right, welcome back. In this video, we'll be considering what angles between two lines. Angles between two lines. What is an angle? An angle is formed when two lines meet at what a point. An angle is formed when two lines meet at a point. So when I have this line, then I have another line. So L1, then let's say L2. An increasing function, a decreasing function. When they meet at this point, then that means this is called what? An angle. That's an angle is what? Created. So I have, let's say, we can name here this angle to be what? Theta. Theta here. Theta. So angles between two lines. So they can tell you to find for the angle between, let's say, line L1 or L2 or L3. How best can you solve this when they give you that? Find for the angle between these two lines. So now, so that's what we'll be treating here. Angles between two lines. So now, let's proceed. So now, let's see this diagram here. Positive x-axis, positive y, then positive x-axis, then I have my origin. So I have that, then I have that, right? So let's assume that I have an angle here known as beta, then here known as what? Lambda, then here known as what? Alpha. Then here I have my theta. Then here... If here is theta, then you can say that angles on a straight line or supplementary angles, right? Angles on a straight line, they add up to what? 180 degrees. So if here is theta, then if I subtract theta from 180, I get what? 180 minus what? Theta. I get 180 minus theta. Yeah, 180 minus theta. Now I can say that this theta is the same thing here, theta. Well, what's that property? Vertically opposite angles, what? Equal. Then this angle here is the same thing here. That's 180 minus what? Theta. They are the same. They are the same. That's vertically opposite angles equal. So don't forget that. So now, consider the lines L1 and L2. So let's see. We have lines L1, then lines what? L2. So consider the lines L1 and L2 with gradients M1 and M2. So we are considering lines L1 and L2 with gradients what? M1 and M2. With gradients M1 and what? M2. So these are their gradients, M1 and M2, respectively. So it means that the gradient of L1 is what? M1. Then the gradient of L2 is what? M2. So L1 is M1. Then the gradient of L2 is M2. Suppose that... We are saying that, suppose that if and only if M1 is greater than M2 being greater than 0 with this, you can say that M2 is greater than M1 greater than 0. You can use that. So suppose that M1 is greater than what? M2 greater than what? 0. So if I have this gradient here, 3 and 4, my M1 will be this, then my M2 will be this. Because I've stated here that M1 should be greater than what? M2. So if I get two gradient, 3 and 4, my M1 will be the greatest, right? Then my M2 will be the smallest. Because M2 should be less than M1. Should be less than M1. And M1 should be less than 0. That's the reverse of what I said now. Alright. So now, suppose that M1 is greater than M2 greater than 0. Observe that there are two different angles between L1 and L2. So observe that there are what, two different angles between L1 and L2. So let's observe. Let me clean this, please. Observe that there are two different what, angles. So we have angle theta, then we have 180 minus theta. Two different angles. So theta, then 180 minus theta. All right. These angles are what? Theta. And what? 180 minus theta. Two different angles. So, theta then 180 minus theta. Alright. So, also from the figure above. So, let's see. Let's see something here. Also from the figure above. From the figure above. From this figure drawn. 
or from the diagram, we can see that what lambda plus alpha is equal to what 180 degrees. Lambda plus alpha is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are angles on the what on a straight line or supplementary what angles. So lambda plus alpha is equal to 180 degrees. So I can make lambda the subject. Also, you can also make alpha the subject. So lambda must be equal to what I group. So this alpha goes to the right hand side. So it subtracts that 180. So I get 180 minus alpha. They are all degrees because they are angles, right? So we are talking of angles. So now I can label that as what equation one. I can label that as equation one. And also I can say that, and also let me bring this one here. Not easy to go to M2. So, and also I can say that theta plus beta plus lambda must be equal to 180. Why? Considering this triangle here, considering the triangle, we can say that the sum of interior angles of a triangle, or the sum of interior angles of a triangle is what? 180 degrees. That's from our general formula we know from polygons, n minus 2 times 180 degrees. If you want to find for the sum of interior angles, and we know that a triangle or a trigon has three number of what sides. So you substitute where you see and you substitute three. So you get three minus two times 180 degrees. Three minus two, you get one. Then one times 180, we obtain what 180 degrees. So it means that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is what. 180 degrees. So we can proceed and say that theta plus beta plus lambda must be equal to 180 degrees. So now we can still make lambda the subject here. So lambda is equal to 180 degrees minus what? Minus theta, the minus what? Beta. So 9 degrees. So we can state that as what? Equation sign 2. We can state that as equation two. So now, if you are proceeding, then from equation one and two, we obtain by what? Equating. So let's equate that. Because equation one, we have lambda being equal to 180 minus alpha. Then lambda being equal to what? 180 minus theta minus what? Beta. So we can equate. So equation one, equal to what equation say two so we have 180 minus alpha being equal to what 180 minus theta minus beta right so we can see that this guy cancels that so i'll get minus alpha equals what minus theta minus what beta so now we want to make theta the subject so we send this negative theta to the left hand side to be what positive so i'll get positive theta then I send this one to the right hand side. So being equal to what? Alpha minus what? Beta. So I have theta being equal to what? Alpha minus what? Beta. So now, let's proceed. Now, on our, let's say, when you check our videos we've done so far, when we talk of gradient, gradient, we know that gradient, which is M, is equal to what? Tan theta. Don't forget, gradient, which is M, is equal to what? Tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to tan theta because that's two opposites on what adjacent opposites on adjacent the time we're proving the gradient how do we find for the gradient we saw that m is also the same thing as what tan theta so don't forget so theta is equal to alpha minus what beta so that's taking tan of both sides so we are taking tan Take it tan of both sides, then we have tan theta being equal to a tan alpha minus what beta. Right. So now by applying the trick identities here, by applying, we know that tan theta is equal to we have tan alpha minus beta. Do you remember tan a minus b? Tan a minus b, the same formula. Let's apply. So which is tan alpha minus tan beta all on one plus tan alpha tan beta so this is what we are saying here and we know that where tan alpha where where tan alpha 
let's say that where tan alpha is equal to m1 and tan beta tan beta is equal to m2 so we are saying that tan alpha is equal to m1 then tan beta is equal to what m2 so we can substitute so tan theta is equal to tan alpha which is m1 minus tan theta tan beta sorry which is m2 all on one plus m1 times m2 so we have that we have that very very simple very very simple very very simple very very simple so watch it very carefully it's very 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 simple So tan theta is equal to m1 minus what? m2 all on what? 1 plus m1, m2, 1 plus m1, m2. So that's for what? This theta. That's for this theta. Tan theta. So likewise, we can take what? Tan 180 minus what? Theta. We can take that. Tan 180 minus what? Theta. We can use that. Let me write here. So tan... So tan... 180 minus theta, which must be equal to what? We get what? Tan 180, we apply the same rule. Minus tan theta, all on what? 1 plus tan 180, then tan what? Theta. Right. So now, let's proceed. When you punch tan 180, tan 180 gives zero. Right, so tan 180 gives zero. So I can say that tan 180 minus theta must be equal to tan 180 zero minus tan theta all on one plus tan 180 zero. So it is zero times the tan theta, which is the same thing as what? Zero. And one plus zero gives what? One. So I'll get zero minus tan theta is negative tan theta. So now tan 180 minus theta is equal to what? Negative tan theta. Negative tan theta. Negative tan theta. So as that. All right. So now. We know tan theta to be what? M1 minus M2 all on 1 plus M1 M2. So we can substitute. We can substitute. Which means that tan 180 minus theta is equal to minus bracket to pin tan theta is M1 minus M2 all on what? 1 plus M1 M2. Which is very, very simple. 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 So kindly watch it very carefully. All right, so let's go. In some books, eh? in some books, they can say that M2 is greater than M1. They are the same. They are the same. They are the same. Don't be confused. They are the same. So they are the same. So now. You can say that if you are using that um, M2 should be greater than M1, then that means the positions of M1 and M2 must change. So here will be what? M2 minus M1, then 1 plus what? M2, M1. Kindly take note of that. All right. So now, but still, if you don't want to change the positions, then let's say the gradients are 3 and 4. And you want to use this one as your M1, M2. Then your formula must be tan theta must be equal to what? M1 minus M2 all on what? 1 plus M1 M2. That's the absolute. So it takes away the negative sign, right? So that's the absolute. Then you proceed as that. All right. So because we have to read them 4. Because this 3, this 3 is smaller than 4 and this 4 is greater than 3. So if you take your M1 as 3, and your M2 as 4, we will surely get what? A negative value. So this absolute will clear away the negative value. Because if you have the absolute of negative 4, what will be the answer? Positive 4. So it takes away the negative what? Value. So kindly take note of that. Right. Kindly take note of that. Right. Kindly 
I need to take note of that. Can I need to take note of that? Because, all right, see you, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, so now we can start with what? An example. We can start with an example. We can start with an example. So mind you, if you know that you will not bring this absolute sign, then kindly take note that your M1 should be greater than your M2. If your M1 is greater than your M2, yeah, if your M1 is greater than M2, then you always get what? A positive value for that. You always get a positive value for that. All right, so let's proceed. Let's proceed. Let's start with an example. So examples, he says, find, find the acute angle, find the acute angle, which is theta, between the lines, between the lines, y being equal to 2x plus 1, and y being equal to 3x plus 2, 3x plus 2. Hence, find the obtuse angle. Hence, find the obtuse angle. The obtuse angle. So, find the acute angle, let's say which is theta 1, then the obtuse angle, which is theta 2. So, solution. How best can we solve this question? We know that acute angle Acute angle, there are angles, watch here, we have that, so acute angle 0 degrees, then here is theta. There are angles which are what, this is the acute angle we are talking of. So there are, there are angles whose measure is greater than 0 degrees, so it is greater than 0 degrees, right. So that means theta, theta is greater than 0 degrees, right, but less than what, 1 but less than what? 90 degrees. So whose measure is greater than 0 degrees but less than 180 degrees? So it's not up to that. So I can say that theta degrees is less than 0 degrees. So theta degrees is greater than 0 degrees, which means 0 degrees is less than theta, then less than 90 degrees. So that's what we mean here. So that means acute angles, they always start from what? 1 degrees then 2 degrees, then they move up towards 89 degrees. Then they move up to 89 degrees. So it's not up to 90 degrees. If it is up to 90 degrees, then we get what? A right angle or a right angle. So whose measure is up towards 90 degrees? That's a right angle. But for acute angle, is greater than 0 degrees, but less than 90 degrees. All right, so let's see. Let's see how best we can solve that. So now, we have the lines. We can obtain the gradient from the lines given. So let's say L1 is such that y equals what, 2x plus 1. Then L2 is such that what, y equals what, 3x plus 2. So now, this one is in the form y equals mx plus c. And this guy too is in the form y equals mx plus c. We can take our gradient, which is m equals 2. Then here, m equals 3, right? So now I can say that my M1, I'll take my M1 because I stated that what my M1 should be greater than M2 should be greater than zero. So I can say that this should be my M1. That is three, then my M2 should be what? Should be two, my M2 should be two. So my M1 is greater than my M2, then that. Then I'll proceed, I'm finding for the acute angle here. So which is what, tan theta, must be equal to what? M1 minus what? M2 all on what? 1 plus M1, M2. So I can proceed and say that M1 is 3 minus M2, which is 2, all on 1 plus 3 times 2. So I can say that tan theta must be equal to 3 minus 2, which is 1, all on 1 plus 3 to 6. So I get 1 on what? 7 here. So now, which is 1 on 7? So 1 on 7, 
we want theta. So tan theta is equal to 1 on 7. We want theta, not tan theta. So what do we do? We have to take what the tan inverse. So tan inverse of 1 on 7. So now let's see tan inverse of 1 on 7. Tan inverse of 1 on 7. Which means what? We will get theta being equal to 8.130102354. So to the nearest degree, we can say that's 8 degrees for theta, right, for theta. So this is the acute what, angle, that's the acute angle, because it's in between what, 0 degrees and what, 90 degrees, in between that. Because this guy is greater than 0, and it's also less than what, 90 degrees, so that's an acute angle. Now, and the question says, hence, find the obtuse angle. So how can we find for the obtuse angle so if you want to find for the obtuse angle we said this what do you remember this we have what we have our theta here then we have our 180 minus what theta right so if you want to this is the acute which is eight degrees so if you want to find for the obtuse obtuse you have to subtract 80 from what you have to subtract eight degrees from 180 degrees which will get the obtuse Obtuse angles, they are angles greater than 90 degrees, but they are less than 180. They are greater than 90 degrees. So they start from 91 to 179 degrees. They start from 91 degrees to 179 degrees. So they are greater than what? 90 degrees, but less than 179. But less than 180 degrees. So now, let's see. We subtract that to get our obtuse angle. So 180 minus 8 degrees so 180 180 minus uh 8 degrees which is 172 degrees so therefore therefore the acute angle is what 8 degrees then the obtuse angle the obtuse angle is what 172 degrees so that's the obtuse Angle. Very, very simple. You can watch. All right, so Let's proceed to another example. Let's proceed to another example here. Let's proceed to another example. It says what? Find, find the measure. The same question, very simple. Find the measure of the obtuse angle. Find the measure of the obtuse of the obtuse angle between the lines. Between the lines, 3x minus 5y plus 2 equals 0 and x plus 4y plus 5 equals 0 full stop to solution here so find the measure of the obtuse angle between the lines 3x minus 5y plus 2 equals 0 and x plus 4y plus 5 equals 0 so pause the video then try and see whether you can solve So now let's see, let's start. So now we have our L1, which is 3x minus 5y plus 2 d equals 0. Then our L2, which is what? x plus 4y plus 5, which is equal to 0. 
So now this one is in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero. So we have to express that in the form y equals mx plus c, which is the slope equation form. So I can get, I'll make y the subject from that, which is minus 5y equals minus 3x minus 2. I believe you can see that. Then I divide both sides by the coefficient of y, which is negative 5. So negative 5y or negative 5 equals negative 3x or negative 5 minus 2 or negative 5. So y being equal to 3 on 5x plus 2 on 5. Because negative cancels, then this one should be cancelled. Then the form positive, right? So I can say that n equals to 3 on 5. So I have my ingredient here. Then here to the same thing is in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So I can express that in the form y equals mx plus c. So making y the subject, so 4y equals minus x minus 5. Then what do I do? I divide both sides by 4. So here also by 4. Then here also by 4. Then I get my y being equal to minus 1 fourth x minus 5 from 4. So I get my n being equal to negative 1 4. So... <clears throat> You have that now so let's see three feet three feet and negative one fourth which one is greater which one is greater because we said that our m1 should be greater than our m2 should be greater than not zero so three feet and negative one fourth since this one is negative then you conclude that three feet is greater right since this guy is negative to conclude that three feet is greater so this one will be my m1 then this one will be my m2 so if i want my obtuse angle i have to first find for what my acute angle because what i'm going to find will give me the acute angle then i subtract from 180 to get my what obtuse angle so now my tan theta being equal to what m1 minus m2 all on one plus m1 M2, which is equal to M1, which is 3 on 5, minus M2, which is what? Negative 1 fourth, all on 1 plus M1, which is 3 on 5, times M2, which is negative 1 fourth. So now I get 3 on 5 plus 1 on 4, all on what? 1 plus, here we get negative, negative 3 on 5, 4, 20, right? So let's see. 3 on 5, then plus 1 on 4, then here 1 minus 3 on 20. So the answer will be what? 1. So the answer will be 1. So now tan theta is equal to 1. Then we take theta is equal to the tan inverse of 1. So now tan inverse of 1, we take the tan inverse of 1, which is 45, which is 45 degrees which is the answer is 45 degrees. So therefore, theta is equal to 45 degrees here. So now, they said we should find for what? The obtuse angle, because this one is greater than 70 degrees, but less than 90 degrees, because it's an acute angle. So this one is an acute, it's an acute angle here. So we want obtuse. Obtuse is greater than 90, but less than 180. So we have to subtract. So if you want the obtuse angle, then, it must be what 180 degrees minus theta, where theta is equal to what 45 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 45 degrees, which must be equal to 180 degrees minus 45, which is 135 degrees. So 135 degrees. So so therefore, the obtuse the obtuse angle is what is 135 degrees so we can see that this angle is greater than 90 but less than what 180 so kindly watch it carefully All right, so now let's do. Let's see this last example 
Let's see this last example here. Let's see this last example. Alright, so let's see this example. I want you to understand more on that. So they said what? If A, if point A negative 2, if point A, if point A negative 2, we have if point A negative 2. One, then we have point B, two, three, and point C, negative two, negative four. Are three points. There are three points. Find the angles between the straight lines. Find the angles between the straight. Find the angles between the straight lines. A, B, and B, C. So they said we should find for the angles between the straight line. So how can you solve this question? Find the angles between the straight lines. A, B, and what? B, C. The question says find for the angles. So it means that you have to find for the acute. Then you have to find for what? The obtuse. Not only one angle. So now, the straight line A, B. Then that means A, B, which is what? Point A, then point B. I have to go and find for the gradient. Right, so now the gradient M of what? AB, of AB, right, of line AB, which is what? Y2 minus Y1, all on X2 minus what? X1, which is, I have X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So Y2, which is 3 minus Y1, 1, all on X2, which is 2, minus X1. X1 is negative 2, then minus 2, right? So I'll get 2 all on what? 2 plus 2 because yes, what? Negative, negative, I get what? Positive. So 2 plus 2, which is 4, then I get 2 fourth, which is 1 on 2, right? 1 on 2. So half, right? So the gradient of AB is half. Then let's see the gradient of what? BC. BC. So here is X2, Y2. I can see here X1, Y1. So the gradient of line BC. So which is Y2 minus Y1 x2 x1 so now y2 is 3 then minus y1 is negative 4 all on y all on x2 x2 is 2 minus x1 is what negative 2 so i have 3 plus 4 all on what? 2 plus 2 so i get 7 on what? 4 7 on 4 which is 4 goes into 7 how many times one time right one remainder three on four so one go number three on four so now which means that this is greater than that one go number three on four seven on four is an improper fraction and this one is a proper fraction all proper fractions are less than one and all improper fractions are greater than one don't forget that all proper fractions proper one over hundred billion they are all less than one 6 on 3, it is greater than 1 because it's an improper fraction, right? So, how do I find for the angles? Then, we have line what? Line AB. Then what? Line, let's see, BC. BC. So, we are finding for the angles between that, right? Let's see. Let me sketch that properly. So, I have that. So, line AB. Then line what? BC. This one. So we are finding for that the angles between that. So theta one then theta out two. Let's find for the angles between that. All right. So how will you find for the angles? Then you have to start tan theta being equal to m1 minus m2 all on what? One plus m1 m2. Then I say that my m1 should be greater than my m2 greater than zero. And I know my m1 is what? Seven on four. Because I said M1 is greater than that, so my M1 is 7 on 4, then my M2 is 1 on 2. 
Right. So tan theta being equal to m1 7 on 4 minus m2 1 on 2 all on 1 plus m1 which is 7 on 4 times m2 1 on 2. So I have tan theta being equal to 7 on 4. Oh, my calculator. So now 7 on 4. 7 on 4 then minus 1 on 2. Then I have 1 plus 7, 1, 7. Then on 4, 2, I get my 8. Right. So the answer, we get 2 on 3. We get 2 on 3. So then what do we do? You have to take the tan inverse of 2 on 3. So theta must be equal to the tan inverse of that, of the answer. So I get 33. Point six nine zero zero six seven five three degrees. So, to the nearest degree, I get thirty four degrees. Thirty four degrees to the nearest degree. So this one is what is the acute angle. Is the acute angle? Why is it the acute angle? Because it's greater than what zero degrees, but less than one eighty degrees. Then let's see. So how can we find for the obtuse angle? The obtuse angle we have to subtract thirty four from one eighty. So one eighty. Minus theta, that's our theta, 34. So 180 minus 34. Then I get my 180 minus 34, which is equal to 146. So this one is our obtuse angle. That's our obtuse angle. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. All right, so now let's solve our last example. Last example. Last example. Last example. Let's solve our last example on that. See this question that you can you can solve. It says L such that tx minus y minus 3 equals 0 and k such that x minus 2y equals x minus 2y minus 1 equals 0 where t is a member of the real numbers are the equations are the equations of two lines are the equations of two lines full stop given Given that, given that the angle, the angle between, between L and K is 45 degrees, come on, find, find the two possible, the two possible values of T, find the two possible values of T, find the two possible values of t. So now L, tx minus y minus 3 equals 0, and k, x minus 2y minus 1 equals 0. So we have these lines, L and k equals 0, where t is a member of the real number, so it can be a set, right? Uh -huh. So uh, what? the equations of two lines, given that the angle between L and k is what? 45. So this time around, they've given you the angle already. Tan theta, they've calculated everything, theta. You've said that theta is what 45 degrees, so they've given you the angle already. This time, you are not calculating for any angle here, you are finding for the possible values of what t, so the two possible values of t. So, now here, let's see we have tx minus y minus 3 equals 0. You can represent it in the form y equals mx plus what c. So, I can make y the subject, which is minus y equals what minus tx plus 3. Then I divide here by negative 1, negative 1. And I get y being equal to t, what? x minus 3. So I know that my gradient here is what? t. My gradient here is t. Now, now, now I have x minus 2y minus 1 equals 0. So I can make y the subject, which is minus 2y equals minus x plus 1. Then minus 2y on minus 2 equals minus x on minus 2 plus 1 on minus 2. Then I have y being equal to 1 on 2x minus 1 on 2. 
So I can say that n should be equal to what? 1 and 2. That's the gradient. So the gradient here is 1 and 2. Now, we said that what? m1 should be greater than m2 should be greater than what? 0. But this time around, we don't know t. We don't know. We don't know t. So we cannot say that is t greater than half or half is greater than t. You really don't know. You don't know. Me, I don't know. Whether t is less than 1 or 2 or 1 or 2 is less than t, we don't know. Then, what we have to do? Then, we have to go and take this formula, which is what? Tan theta is equal to the absolute, right? Because we don't know. We don't know, right? So, now, m1 minus m2 all on 1 plus m1, m2. So, we have to take this formula here, right? Then, we have to proceed. We know that tan theta, it has been calculated already for us, which is 45 degrees, right? So, 45 degrees equals... So let's denote this one as our m1 the here m2. So absolute. Now absolute we have t m1 which is t minus m m2 which is what half all on one plus m1 which is t times half. So absolute. So still 45 degrees. 45 degrees must be equal to um uh, we get our two t minus one all on two then divided by divided by 1 plus t on 2, so the absolute, right? Now, the absolute, I told you that it takes away negative, right? So I can represent the absolute by plus or minus, right? Plus or minus, which means that I have to work, work for the positive side and I work for the other negative side, right? Separately. So now here, I can remove that, I can remove the absolute, then I work for the positive side. So now I have... 45 degrees being equal to now 2t minus 1 all on 2 then times or let's say divided by now here I'll get what 2 plus t all on 2 this one right so I'll get what 45 degrees being equal to 2t minus 1 on 2 times 2 on 2 plus t this one cancels that right so I'll get 45 equals what 2t minus 1 all on 2 plus t Right, two t minus one all on two plus t. Then, which implies that let me multiply. So I have forty five multiplied by two plus t being equal to two t minus one. Right. So let me clean this place. Let me clean this place. Sorry for that. So now I'm proceeding. Then I can say that forty five times two, which is what ninety. Then plus what. 45t, 45t equals what? 2t minus 1, right? We want 4t. So I have 45t minus 2t equals minus 1 minus 90. So here I'll get 43t equals what? Minus 91, right? Then I divide here by 43, also by 43. Then I'll get my t being equal to... Uh, I'll get my t. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. We should, we should. That's tan theta, tan theta. Our theta is forty-five. Sorry, sorry. Our theta is forty-five. Our theta is forty-five. Our theta is forty-five. So that means wherever we see theta, we have to place what one. Sorry, wherever we see theta, so it's supposed to be a tan, tan forty-five tan 45 because the angle here is theta so tan 45 which is 1 so here is supposed to be 1 then here is supposed to be what 1 then here is supposed to be what 1 so oh 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 sorry 1 then here I have 1 right then here also is supposed to be 1 not that it's supposed to be 1 it's supposed to be 1 because theta is giving us what 1 so when you point tan 45 which is 1 sorry 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 so I get 1 times 2, which is what? 2 plus what? 1 times t, which is what? t equals 2t minus 1. Then I group like 10. So I have 2 plus 1 equals what? 2t plus what? 2t minus what? t. Right. So I have 3 being equal to what? 
being equal to t. So t equals what? Three. So t equals three for that. So t equals three. So now I told you that what with the absolute we we'll take what the plus or what minus, right? We we'll take the plus or minus for that. So now we have to take the negative aspect. We have to take the negative aspect for that. We have to take the negative aspect. So now taking the negative aspect, then that means here it must be all what's negative. It must be all negative. So from here it must be all negative. It must be all negative. So it must be all negative. So let's see. It must be all negative. Then we can proceed and say that what? 1 must be equal to negative. Then I have 2t minus 1 all on what? 2. 2t minus 1 all on 2 divided by. Then I have what? 1 plus t on 2, right? Then I have 1 equals negative 2t minus 1 all on 2. Then divided by 2 plus t all on 2. So now, I can proceed and say that 1 equals negative out 2t minus 1 on 2 times what? 2 on what? 2 plus t. So this one, sorry, 2 cancel 2. So I'll get 1 equals what? Negative 2t minus what? 1. On, on 2 plus t with this. On 2 plus t. So now, which is 1 equals the negative, we we'll multiply that. So I'll get negative 2t, then plus 1, all on 2 plus what? t. Right, then I multiply. I multiply 2. So 1 times, one times 2 plus t equals what? Negative 2t, negative 2t plus 1. So here I'll get 2 plus t equals negative 2t plus 1. Then I group like terms. t plus 2t being equal to 1 minus 2, right? So here I'll get 3t being equal to negative 1. So t will give me negative 1 on 3. Negative 1 on 3. Negative 1 on 3. Alright, 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 alright. So now, t is equal to negative 1 on 3, then t equals 3. So therefore, the possible values of t. So therefore, the possible, the possible values of t are 3 and what's negative 1 on 3. Alright, so sorry, sorry for that. And we know that the theta is what, 45 degrees. The theta is 45 degrees. That's what escaped me, sorry. The theta is 45 degrees, so tan is there, not the whole of tan theta. The theta is 45 degrees, so tan 45, which is what? 1. Alright, thank you for subscribing to Masa Tutorials. Kindly watch and watch it carefully. If you have any comments, please drop it at the comment section. Or if you have anything, drop it at the comment section. Then when I get time, I'll read it for you. Thank you, Masa Tutorials Made Easy. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.